this here, this is the spine of the scapula, the spine of the scapula. Okay. So when this is on the countertop, the orientation is going to be upside down. So this is going to be your supraspinatus, your supraspinatus, which is one of your rotator cuff muscles. This is your deltoid. And this is going to be your infraspinatus, your infraspinatus. And this will be your teres minor, teres minor. And if you care, this is the teres major. <laughs> okay. um, so this would be triceps brachii. Go just a little bit here. <clears throat> okay, this is triceps brachii. This is also triceps brachii. This is biceps brachii. And this is biceps brachii. When you're looking at the inner arm, this is biceps brachii. And down here, triceps brachii. All right. <clears throat> so um, this this one that is uh, more on the side of the thumb. If I follow this, this is going to point me directly to the brachioradialis. Now the brachioradialis, if I follow that, is going to go like this. Okay. Remember the radialis means thumb side. So this is the brachioradialis. Brachioradialis. Okay. Now This is the extensor digitorum, extensor digitorum, okay. which is basically right on the back of the arm. And if you were to follow it, it's basically going to lead you to your middle fingers. Now, if you follow this nerve where you're going to go to this last crease. If you follow this crease around, okay, you will end up at this muscle here. This muscle, if you follow it up, it's going to lead straight to the pinky, okay, which will give you a clue as to what its name is. And this is on the back part of the arm, so we know it's an extensor. So this is the extensor carpi ulnaris. So what that means is this is an extensor of the carpi. The carpals are the wrist bones, okay? And it's on the ulnar side. So extensor carpi ulnaris. Extensor carpi ulnaris. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn this around a little bit more and see what other stuff we have. So now we are on the anterior portion of the lower arm. So here's where our flexors would be. So this, if you follow this up, you'll notice, oh, this is a flexor. So, you know, I know it's a flexor because it's anterior and it's on the ulnar side. It's on the side of the pinky. So this is going to be your flexor carpi ulnaris. Your flexor carpi ulnaris. So that's not too bad. All right, I'm gonna rotate it a little bit more here. You have these uh, muscles that are that lie underneath these tendons here. So you can see it here and here. Okay. And these are called flexor digitorum superficialis. Digitorum, because these are the digits, right? So flexor digitorum superficialis. So when you flex your fingers, okay, you'll actually feel it in that area. 
this muscle here, okay, so th this, is this is the antecubital area. So this is the front part of the, of the elbow, just to give you your orientation. Um, also, this is your thumb side, right? So this is your pronator teres, this muscle here. That's your pronator teres. And you may remember from before, this is our brachioradialis. So this is actually a good view to see both of those muscles. You see the pronator teres on this side, and then the brachioradialis, which is on this side. All right, and that leads us back to where we came from.